Okay, let's make another falcon sound. Um, where to begin? Let's try something that I haven't done in this video series. Um, let's try a little bit of additive. It's got this pretty sick as an additive oscillator. Which is extremely buzzy. You could just use that as like a saw wave if you wanted to. You know, you could easily just um, chuck on, for example, Thoris. Lots of things you can do with additive. Lots of filtering options. sounds That's a cool sound. You could do like a THX sound. Let's just try that real quick. We can just make that up real fast. Um, let's put that attack right down. Reverse this. modulate this. Oh, I know we can, but we should. shit um wild stuff so <laughs> we're going to use that i love that it has this built-in filter um There are many things we could do here to modulate that. We could modulate it, say, just as an example, with a parametric LFO. Um, we could change the shape a bit like this. Um, 
You can also uh, clock the LFO, which, I mean, of course you can. It'd be weird if you couldn't. And uh, we can make it so it's legato. So that they all operate together. And let's, let's modulate the depth with And if we increase the release on the envelope, huh? Interesting. <laughs> that stop working let's just go back okay well it does work um it's a bit odd that it works like that. Maybe I should just <laughs> bring this. It's a bit of a weird quirk. It's like bringing the release up changes the envelope on this depth, even though it's a different envelope. Very unusual. Um, it's a bit too intense. Almost has like a sort of uh, 80s uh, voice synth quality to it now. Now that decay is way too long. We could also make it so it just doesn't sustain. So. I think it's good to sustain a little bit. Maybe we can just bring that up a bit. Cool. Um. <clears throat> That would be cool if we modulate that with the same the same envelope but with a negative value. 
Let's do it with a different envelope, actually. Clear modulations, add modulation. And I'm just gonna copy this envelope and paste it into this one. Cause I just, I want the same shape, but I wanna increase the decay. Why is that not doing anything? Oh, that's right. It's it's reverse this. It's a lot of ways to shape the sound um, in the additive oscillator. Really cool. Um, so what I think would be a cool way to do, to modulate this is to do a um, step envelope and do it bipolar and just sort of draw some stuff in and clock it to the same <clears throat> frequency as the LFO on the filter, which it already is, which is 16. Why did you do that? We want it on legato. Maybe we, we can modulate this with an envelope. So just do another one of these, or we could do a multi envelope. Let's try that. Let's change the speed to be quite slow. Legato on. Bipolar. <laughs> So it's only doing it in this range that we've set for it. Thank you. 
That's pretty cool. I think it would be cool to modulate this as well. Um, and maybe we could do it. Oh man, so many options. <laughs> um, what if we LFO it, but we do parametric LFO again. Clock it again. We legato it again. And we clock this to So let's put this at 50 and let's modulate this with a step envelope. And let's put bipolar, legato, um, So a few all the way out. Why? Why? Why does it reset like that? What the fuck? Makes no sense. I must be doing something weird. So you can change the interpolation mode. Uh, or you can keep it to hold and you can just use smooth. Kind of like the steppy nature of it, but maybe you don't want it. Um, I think it'd be cool to zero to modulate this with another LFO. Um, I really like this parametric LFO. It kind of reminds me of um, some stuff in the modular world. Uh, I don't have a modular system, but I use VCV rack a lot. Uh, and you can do some pretty crazy stuff um, with this kind of wave uh, parametrics, I guess. Um, this time we'll just do it with an LFO, straight up regular LFO, which will be on that. We'll turn retrigger off. Thank you. 
What is happening here? Uh, parametric LFO. What is this LFO controlling? This is where the interface in Falcon can sometimes be a problem. Um, I'm struggling to figure out what that LFO is. I guess the thing is you can always click on the thing that you're modu- like the, this. It brings it up. But it's it sort of brings it up in a confusing way sometimes. Like why have I why is this other LFO showing up? It doesn't seem to be affecting anything. I don't know what it is affecting. Not that. So LFO one. Not that. Bear with me. Not that. It's definitely not this. <laughs> what the fuck is LFO two doing? I don't think it's doing anything. How did it even get there? You can fuck off, mate. So I like the sort of rhythmic vibe that's happening here. Um, and I think that, you know, maybe we've done enough uh, to this. But what I would like to do is add another layer. Um, and in this case, I want the layer, let's just add another one. I want the layer to have a pluck oscillator on it. So let's just mute the other layer. Let's bring in... Uh... So the pluck oscillator is like a combination of a sampler and a synth. If I bring the sound... to something else.
And what I would like to do is sequence this. Um, so we could arpeggiate it, uh, which might just be a quick, fun way to do that. Uh, but there are all of these script processing, script processes, different types of sequences. Um, so let's just have a look at some of them. I haven't used this one before. Just kind of like it already. Pretty cool. Very cool. That's that's a keeper, that one. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what have we got? This Ooh. it's like instant fortet. Um all right. Well, that's gonna get used. Um we've got a lot of things we can modulate in here. Um don't have to, of course, and sometimes it's better to keep it simple. Uh, I would like to explore just some of them real quick. Um. I 
can kind of get like a 12 string. Beautiful. I love it. Um, <clears throat> what I would like to do though, is to filter it. Um, and so let's add a filter. I want it to be relatively kind of like clean filter, I think. Um, there's this really cool digital filter, which I do like quite a bit. So I think if we, add a modulator to this maybe like an envelope ah you see because it's got the script processor on it an envelope is not going to work here um unless unless i uh put the filter up here the, the the different levels of um of falcon mean different things so if it's in the key group it's always going to respond to the key press and because the script processor is triggering the key press it's going to always restart the envelope so if i put it in the layer and i add a modulator um i don't know if this will work either though because then it won't respond to a key press at all so let's just try it See, it doesn't work at all. However, there are other things we can do. Why don't we just add it to the key group so it gives us more options. And let's just do an LFO. Or we could do a, a multi-envelope and set it to no retrigger. And slow it right down. So we've got that multi-envelope, which is kind of just acting as um, as an LFO, really. Maybe I could make it bipolar as well. Actually, even do anything? No, it does not. <laughs> oh, Falcon. Um, but because we can add another modulator, I'm gonna add one and I'm gonna, this time, let's try a multi LFO, cause they're fun. And let's set it to uh, the same frequency. Ooh, 
Way too much. I don't even, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, let's, let's slow it down. Let's, let's unclock it as well. get rid of the multi envelope or replaced it with a more regular LFO and in fact change it to something like that and slow it right down thing about the multi LFO right is that when you've got it on a really slow rate you cannot see the shape you have and that always annoys me um, so if we increase the speed of it you can see the shape and increase the depth of it and you can see the shape even better I wish there was a way that you could just click a button and just see the shape that you are creating rather than how it's affecting the signal, like switch between two modes. That is pretty cool though. I wonder if I clocked that to a lower rate. There is another way to do that. If you increase the depth, you can't do it with the frequency, but if I, I can change the, the amount of modulation it's applying. handy to be able to see the sort of shape of it as it's affecting it but I kind of feel like it'd be cool to switch between two modes like just click of a button why not Now, I'm sure you can agree that what would make this sound be even cooler is um, have a delay. Now, I don't remember this velvet delay. Where the hell does that come from? Is that new? Is that old? Kind of like a granular delay almost. Uh, 
I do like that. Uh, we'll keep that, but we'll add another delay. Let's go with a dual delay. Let's just pick, let's maybe just pick a, um, a preset. I think we need some boosting of that signal. <clears throat> Let's try some options. this maximizer. modulated because everything does all the time forever this time i think we're going to go with smooth random and let's bring the depth considerably down random start no re-trigger <laughs> That's cool. Uh, how does it sound with the other layer? Probably terrible, let's find out. Not terrible, but needs some work, needs some tweaking. For a start, this this dissonance. Mm -hmm. 
kind of annoying in a way that I can't with my pluck oscillator or layer I can't um like fade it in easily like I guess there's a way but I mean, part of the problem here is that this sound is very dry and the other sound is very wet at this point. And this one isn't being filtered at all. So if we get a filter going on here, maybe a bit of a high pass, uh, let's add a bit of warmth to it as well. Add some modulation to this. I'll just go with an analog one this time. And what I think it really needs there's some modulation. Um, by the way, there's a lot of modulation options. Like, what if I bring up this granulizer real quick? This is basically like a sort of emulation of clouds. Um, by mutable instruments. That's cool, um, but I also want a uh, Thoris on here. We can just sort of, oh, let's go with default. Cool, so we need a reverb. That's really what's missing with this particular sound. Let's try a plate, a uh, big plate. Let's try a different plate. <laughs> um, Classic plate. More like it. Uh, 
I think it needs a delay as well, right before the reverb. Maybe we can go with a different delay this time, like an analog delay. Um, maybe. final touch I think a bit of modulation with an LFO on sample and hold this time with retrigger on um, let's bring the depth down considerably <laughs> and in fact let's modulate the depth with you guessed it an envelope Except that doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, it's not, which is very annoying because it's not in the key group, I guess. Um, doesn't work key group yeah I've got all these uh, what's uh, all right clear that modulation I know why I know why that didn't work I'm an idiot let's gonna have it at the set to the spot that you want rather than the bottom um, Of course, it's not going to work because of how I've got this sequencer working or arpeggiator. Frustrating. Um, I wish you could sort of disconnect those things. Um, but one thing that I can do is do a just an LFO. It'll, it'll do the trick. Uh, 
let's oops, modulation. Let's turn it re-trigger off. Actually, just let me check something. Add modulation. I thought maybe you could turn off re-trigger on the envelope. I don't believe you can. Is it possible that you can do it? I'm getting sidetracked now, but is it possible that you can do it with an analog ADSR? Oh yeah, you absolutely can. I still don't think it's gonna work. I still do not think that's gonna work. Ah. Edit modulations, so let's just get rid of this. same thing on this one, maybe to a lesser degree. Let's do an envelope, random, re-trigger. Okay, something weird. Apologies. I'm figuring this out as I go. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, re trigger. Why are we doing the same thing? Truly baffling. Oh. I know why. I know why. In this case, because I don't have a script processor, I've got timed LFOs, which are simulating a sequence. I have to turn this to that. We got there, folks. Might make it a bit smooth. You know, what's great about this though, is that in this case, I can do what I wanted to do on the other one. So I can have the depth right up there. And then I can bring it in with an envelope and it will actually work this time. intended. <clears throat> now on the program level, I might maybe add a tiny bit of reverb to just kind of like glue it all together. A bit of a hall, classic hall. Let's try that.
and a maximizer. That's gonna do it. Um, I'm just gonna save this patch real quick because it's a cool patch. Lucky up sequence. I don't know. Sure. Um, great. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm still in the process of setting up like a way for these patches to be downloaded. So I think I might might upload them somewhere. I know you can upload them. I know you can upload some things to a website called Patch Storage, but they don't seem to have a location for Falcon. Maybe I just have to create one. Um, alternatively, maybe I'll do like a Google Drive situation. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that sort of bullshit. Uh, have a good one.